on this last video, we're going to add a high score and save it so it remains after quitting the game. So let's go ahead and create a new script. Save it in the scripts folder as game.gd. Hit create. I'll remove the comments. And let's declare a variable name best score equals to zero. And a constant variable name file path equals to the user directory which the engine will create for us. And the file best score that data. Let's create a function name load best score. And in here we're going to declare a file variable equals to file that new. Then we will open the file in file path passing as flag file that read. After that, we're going to set best score equals to file that get bar. And finally, we'll close the file. Let's call load best score on ready. Now, if we try to load the best score when the game runs for the first time, we will get an error because we are trying to open a file that doesn't exist yet. So we're going to ask if not file that file exists pass in file path and if it's so we return. I'm going to create another function name save best score. And in here we're going to create a new file variable. Then open the file in the file path with the flag file that right. After that, I store a variable with the best score value. And finally, close the file. Let's define a set function for the best score name set best score, which I'll create down here. And we are just going to set best score equals to the new value and save the best score. And this is all for the game script. Let's go to the project settings. And in the auto lob tab, add the game script as a global script. For the visuals, here in the search menu, on the HUD node, I'm going to merge from the search game, the tech score node. I'll name it text best score. Let's clear its current script. Add a new built in script. Name it text best score. I'll remove the comment. And in here, from the label node, we're just going to set its text to game that best score using the str function. Let's go to the search game. And on the text score node, after setting the score, we're going to ask if score is bigger than game that bet score. And if it's so, we'll set game that bet score equals to score. Let's try it out. If I defeat some enemies. and run the game again. The best score remains. Well guys, this is the end of this tutorial series. I hope you have learned from it and found it useful. I have really enjoyed making these tutorials. There will be more coming, that's for sure. If you would like to help me so I can keep making more tutorials, you can support me on my Patreon page. I really appreciate the support. Don't forget to share these tutorials with others. And until next time, see you later. Yeah.